In this short video I'm going to show you how using only six tools uh, within the entire array that Luminar 4 has got can add punch to an image. The devil is in the details. Okay, that's us in Luminar 4 now, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of punch to this and we're going to bring out the details that are actually in this image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into light and adjust the smart contrast. Yep, that looks okay. The next thing we're going to get in and use the AI Enhance tools. So first of all, AI Accent, just to get a nice balance, and you should have seen a difference in here. I'll show you in a minute. And we're going to push the sky just slightly here to around there to get a nicer blue. We're then going to get into AI Structure. So I'm just going to push this a little bit just to around there. Next thing, as always, I'm going to pull the blue back just ever so slightly. And I'm going to bring the saturation back. Not too much with this because it's a lovely complement here, the orange and the blues. I don't want to pull it back too much. Quite happy with that. I am then going to go into the Details Enhancer. Push the small details slightly. Not too much because if I zoom in, see the details here. If I turn that off, there's a slight softness there, and I punch the details back on, you can see it there. So I'll leave this edit zoomed in just to let you see it. If I go too far, we get that, which creates noise and artifacts that are in the image, and it just enhances them even more. But I don't want to do that. I just want everything to be subtle. So if we go around there, turn off the details enhancer, zoom back out, all I have done to this image is light, AI Enhance, AI Structure, Colour and the Details Enhancer. And you can see the difference already. What I'll do is I'll show you the before and after. There's the before, there's the after, before and after. So you can see that just using these five tools here has made a massive difference to that image. It's brought out the details that I was looking for in it. We've went from here to here really, really quickly. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into the Pro panel. In here, I'm going to use the Advanced Contrast and I'm just going to tweak the image again. So I'm going to push the highlights and then adjust the balance of the highlights. Just to show you where it's affecting. If you look at the side of the edge, just to show you where it's affecting, if you look at the edge of the building here, that's before, after, and that's now with six tools applied to it. The mid-tones contrast, I'll push that there, and then I'll bring up the mid-tones contrast. If I take that too far, you can see what happens. So I'm just looking for subtle changes within this. There's another one. For me, I'm not going to touch the shadows contrast because I quite like the effect in here. If I begin to use that, it will dull that effect within this image. So there we go. In a relatively short time, we've used six tools in total, including one in the Pro Panel. And we have that image. Before, after, before, after. That's why the devil's in the detail. Hopefully you saw the difference that I can make in a relatively short time using minimal tools. That's a quick process to add some punch to the image. And as the title suggests, the devil is in the details. Because as you saw from the original image on your screen now, the difference that the AI tools and the smart contrast made alone. Get comfortable with the software, enjoy the software, and have fun. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to check out some more, there's some more below. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And thanks again for watching.